First up, this era begins with the introduction of the central pillar of the Megami Tensei franchise, the Shin Megami Tensei branch. This branch saw Atlas reboot the Megami Tensei series with the prefix Shin, meaning new or true. Set in Tokyo, which later on became a criteria for a Shin Megami Tensei game to be numbered, this followed on gameplay ideas and themes from the original games, but with a completely new story. The first Shin Megami Tensei game was released for the SNES in 1992, and it followed a similar tradition to early Final Fantasy games and other JRPGs, where your main party of four all had customisable names. One party member was aligned with Chaos, and another with Law, and in the late game, the hero would have to choose one or neither of them to side with, which determined the ending. The game was in two acts, separated by an apocalyptic event as standard for a mainline SMT game, and continues the goddess reincarnation theme, with the hero and heroine of the game implied to be reincarnations of the biblical Adam and Eve. The next major entry to be released was a sequel set a few decades later called Shin Megami Tensei 2. I say a few decades later because it's difficult to know the exact time difference between the two games, with the first being set in 1990X and the second in 20XX. But anyway, the second game was released two years later in 1994, and followed protagonist Aleph and a bunch of other characters named after the Hebrew alphabet, dealing with a demon infested post apocalyptic society, following on from the neutral ending of Shin Megami Tensei 1, and also ending with a choice between law, chaos, or neutral. Unlike the original game, none of these endings explicitly lead to future games, so there's no true ending. However, the creators of the game have referred to it as having a lore theme, whereas SMT3 will later be referred to as having a chaos theme, so make of that what you will. During this period, the third branch of the Mega Ten family was born, the Last Bible branch. Between 1992 and 1995, there were five games released for this branch, Games in this branch are quite different to the rest of the franchise. Last Bible has a traditional medieval fantasy setting, and demons are referred to as monsters, making it resemble a more standard JRPG such as Dragon Quest. Megami Tensei Gaiden, Last Bible, was released for the Game Boy in 1992. This was followed by Megami Tensei Gaiden, Last Bible 2, in 1993, also on the Game Boy. In 1995, the final game in the trilogy, Last Bible 3, was released for the SNES. When I say trilogy, I mean a fairly loose trilogy, as the games here are set generations apart and have fairly little connecting them. Before I finish the entries in the Last Bible branch in this era, there was a fourth branch started here, the Majin Tensei branch. Majin Tensei roughly translating to Demon God Reincarnation. The first game in this branch was titled Majin Tensei, released in 1994 and was followed by Majin Tensei 2 Spiral Nemesis the next year. The gameplay in Majin Tensei is tactical RPG style, rather than the regular RPG form. The first game has bad, good and true endings, while the second has the usual alignment based endings. Going back to the last Bible branch, we have another Bible, released for Game Boy in 1995, actually released a day before Last Bible 3. This took gameplay cues from Majin Tensei as a tactical RPG. Later on that same month, Last Bible Special was released for the Game Gear, being the only 3D dungeon crawler game in the series with fairly different gameplay. It was developed by Sega rather than Atlas themselves, but published by Atlas, which amusingly is the inverse of most of the games we have now, with Atlas being owned by Sega. That's it for the games in this era, However, there's still some extra media we should discuss. Firstly, we have a manga series called Shin Megami Tensei, Tokyo Mokushiroku, or Tokyo Revelation, published between 1993 and 1995. The story for this series was written by Kazunari Suzuki, the scenario writer for Megami Tensei and Shin Megami Tensei. However, it was yet another separate continuity, with very little links to mainline series, other than the continued demon summoning theme and recurring demons. In 1995, there was an OVA series of the same name, known without the Shin Megami Tensei part as just Tokyo Revelation in the US, when it was released in 2002. Finally, we have Shin Megami Tensei Al Saram, the last entry in the franchise to see involvement from Nishitani. Al Saram was a series of four light novels released between 1993 and 1996, 
that were yet another reimagining of both the original Digital Devil story and Shin Megami Tensei. There's very little translated information on this series, let alone translated volumes. We do know that the illustrations for these books were done by Kazuma Kaneko, and that they were loosely inspired by the first Shin Megami Tensei game. In interview, Nishitani has claimed that this series follows the Christianity-based lore side, with the heroine becoming a Virgin Mary equivalent, rather than Shin Megami Tensei, which he feels favoured more chaos or neutral. Before moving on, I want to note that Majin Tensei received a manga adaptation called Majin Tensei The True Remembrance, released between 1994 and 1996, spanning five volumes. There's been remakes of Shin Megami Tensei 1 and 2 for the PlayStation, Game Boy Advance and iOS, as well as a TurboGrafx CD and Sega CD port of SMT1. The iOS port of SMT1 is the only way to play the game officially in English. Last Bible 1 and 2 received remakes on the Game Boy Color, and 1 also received a Game Gear port. Last Bible 1's Game Boy Color release was later localised as Revelations the Demon Slayer in the US. SMT2 and the other Last Bible games never received official English localizations, but many have received fan patches. Thanks for watching. We're on to some more familiar territory next week, so subscribe so you don't miss out. Until then, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.